What up, what up, what up, y'all? It's your boy Chinchilla Q, aka Q Moore, or known as DJ Skylo, of the Beats on Squad, Dead Rocket Productions, TM.com, as well as Midnight's Classic Soul in the Lounge. What's good with you guys on this February 17th, 2014? You know, it's been a while since I made, the vid- made a new video or whatnot. So, I have a question for you guys today. And it's a very important question. You see, I'm wearing my favorite little t shirt when I'm off of work, so. Yeah, but work never sleeps. Hashtag that. <laughs> Other than that, though, the question I have for you guys this morning is, is your job a pyramid scheme? Think about that. Because there's, people, there's so many people out there that says, you know, well, what are you doing? Are you working a pyramid scheme? Because I hear that you get to a certain type of business, and you get the head honcho making more money than everybody else. They got bring people into the business and you make more money than them, then it adds up. And it's kind of funny because I remember I was talking to one of my coworkers at work about that. And um, and I was telling him, you know, what business I was in. And so he was like, ain't that like a pyramid scheme? I'm like, nah. I said, a pyramid scheme is what we do in work at our job. Keep this out. I work at the airlines and I do cabin cleaning to go inside the aircraft, aircrafts and clean them. I'm not gonna say which company it is, so I'm just gonna keep it at that. But you got the head boss who owns part of the corporation of certain airlines. And then you have his executives, you know, a couple of CEOs here and there. And then you got the vice president. And from the vice president, you got the, well, you got the president, the vice president. And then from that, you got other folks maintenance and other engineers and other business folks that's around the area and you have other individuals managers supervisors and whatnot and they got entry level folks and entry levels well let me go let me bring it down a little bit further managers supervisors leads who runs different crews and then you got the cabinet agents they have folks that clean you know the trash stuff around the area so, if that's not a pyramid scheme, then I don't know what is. <laughs> and it's funny, because most folks think, you know, that when you get into a certain business, try to help your own self out, they're thinking that's a pyramid scheme. But if you really look at different jobs, to have a vice president, to have a president, vice president, director, manager, senior engineer, engineer, or entry level person, they need to know that right there is a pyramid scheme by itself and the reason why it is is because you try to work your way up at going towards um you know a higher position but there are certain corporations that won't let you do that because it's inside the family and so it's always amazing to hear folks that be like man the thing you do is a pyramid scheme or you know, there's new opportunities. Like, you have folks that say, oh, I wish I had more money, I wish I had this, I wish I had that. When an opportunity hits them, they get skeptical and be saying to themselves, oh, this must be a pyramid scheme. I was in the point this a long time ago. If you was in a pyramid scheme, and there are some, but not all. You can tell which ones are by the way certain people act and the way they, how they say things. But not all pyramid schemes are schemes. Matter of fact, if you're working a nine to five and work your butt off every two weeks for a paper paycheck in order to save money or do what you need to do, you basically work in a pyramid scheme for two weeks just for some money. So why not join a different opportunity to where if you can make money every day, no matter how much, how big it is, but you stay consistent to learning, keep your mind stayed open, and keeping your thought process clear, and not negative, then you be straight. What I mean by being straight is, mean if you put in the hard work and the hard effort, you would get to where you need to get to. Not that many people want to put in the hard work. You see, we've been so caught up in consumerism out here in the US, that's just ridiculous. Folks want, 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 want. But when it comes to knowledge, they push it towards the side. Don't ever push knowledge to the side. Knowledge and wisdom are the greatest tools and nuggets that you can actually use for your life. 
and that's coming from somebody that, you know, still studying on some things as well, too. So, I just want you guys to answer that question to yourself. Is your job your pyramid scheme? Or you try to reach up the ladder, or are you just comfortable where you're at? Because if you're comfortable, you're not going to really get anywhere. You got to get out your comfort zone. The reason why you got to get out your comfort zone is because if you stay too comfortable to where you're at, you're not going to amount to nothing. And that's just hard truth. I'll give you guys a sample. One of my leads, um, also a good friend of mine as well, in a little crew that I work with over at the airlines I'm working for, had, um, you know, had, he, has, he has basically almost like a little vacation time. So even though the whole crew know how to lead, I took the initiative to go ahead and, um, you know, and lead the crew, my own self. And so let me just say <laughs> that yesterday and the day before yesterday, which was Saturday, Sunday, it was real burnt out and tiring. But at the same time, um, whilst we're in the little lead fest and whatnot, because yes, we do got different fests that shows you, you know, regular cabin agent, lead, supervisor, manager over at the airlines. But um, whilst we're in the lead fest and whatnot, not even the lead, but just wearing it, you know, and just taking initiative, taking action, taking massive action, even at my job, and just making sure that, you know, the aircrafts we get on are clean properly and everything else like that, because usually when we get on the aircraft, you know, we don't have that much time to clean an aircraft, like, fully. So you just gotta get on there, do what we need to do, and hop off. Simple as that. But I have to get out of my comfort zone, because nine to 10 times, I really don't like leading half the time. But if my lead is not there, then I'll take the step to go ahead and say, you know what, let me go ahead and do this. Then let me go ahead and run the crew tomorrow and just plan everything out accordingly. So that's how you got to think, ladies and gentlemen. You got to think like that. And the boy is a music producer. So from our music producers, that's how you really got to think with your business. Like I've been saying so many times in my videos, your music production business is a music production business. You have to take initiative. You have to take massive action. You have to... Think on the next trip on how you're going to finish your business more. Because making music in the beats is just, you know, that's real easy and simple. Anybody can make a beat. We're just using four tracks. Clap, snare, hi-hat, and a kick. Well, make it five bars. Well, five, I mean five tracks. Add a melody to it if you want to. But at the same time you got to know the business aspect of it because there's a whole lot of marketing and promoting and investing in it and what i mean by investing or investments into your business so you have to be strong and strided on that <laughs> and that comes from a brother who is doing the damn thing at the same time it's a process but it's a good process too and for my music producers if you really need help on understanding that concept of the business or whatnot i have a links below to you can join the beat selling squad in order to up your business in order to get more beat sales but more so in order to become the business entrepreneur that you yourself is and especially if you have a talent you know that you're blessed with doing i would say nine to ten times Take that talent to the next level. And so, this ends the first video, ladies and gents. Are you working in a pyramid scheme at your job? <laughs> or are you open to new opportunities? You know, before I even hop off, let me just say this. For those that say, you know, the pyramid schemes because somebody who's making a million dollars and other folks making a thousand dollars, you know, that's a pyramid scheme, it's not. What that person who made that million dollars and whatever business they're in, is that they work hard towards getting there. They went through the blood, sweat, and tears, and the effort in order to have a different lifestyle for their family, in order to not work a nine to five, in order to be free from the system of corporate America, or corporate rations, period, period, that says, you come to work, work like a slave, you do this for this certain amount of hours, we tell you when you have your vacation, 
We tell you when you need to get off. We tell you when to come in. We tell you, we tell you, we tell you. You work your own business, be your own boss. And if you have a willing heart to help out others to get to where they need to get at, trust me. You're going to have a better business. You're going to feel a whole lot more free. And you're not going to be feeling so stressed out and pissed off like most folks. And if you invest your money wisely, then you'll be able to get the things that you want to get. Or if you have kids like I do, make sure you put money towards college fund for, for them. Especially if, they, especially if they're babies. Reason being, to when they get older, the college part would be straight. If they want to do what daddy's doing, then hey, they could. Daddy could teach them the ropes and show them. That's how you own your own business while it has to work a nine to five and struggle. But most folks, if you love your nine to five job that you're working at, hey, by all means, stick with it. For those that are sick and tired of working a nine to five, make a choice. Make a change and see you at the top because we want to see your success. Everybody has a story to tell. Everybody has a story to tell. That is true. I'll tell my story real soon, but not today. This is the first video because I will be dropping another one later on tonight. And um, try to see if I can also put out a video uh, how I created one of my instrumentals. So stay tuned for that. And also, do check out my website at the bottom, hiprockerproductionstm.com. As well, for my music producers, check out the Beat Sound Squad. Links down below, too. For those that uh, want to be motivated, go ahead, head to my website, which is below, and click that inspiration button that you see on there. I guarantee you will like what you see. Other than that, this is your boy Chinchilla Q with the first video saying adios, deuces, I gotta get to work on some business. Alright now, let's hit it. Peace.